Hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about formatting numbers as monetary values. So when you have large numbers, especially l numbers that represent monetary amount, it, it's uh, very readable when it has commas separating them and it has a dollar sign in front of it also formatted to a specific number of decimal places. So let's see an example. I'm going to create a variable. It's going to be a double. And I'm going to call this life savings. Let's say this is a life savings of someone. I'm going to set it equal to, let's say, 2354355. Point seven four five six three seven. This is just a random number I came up with. All right, so let's call our system dot out dot print ln. Sorry, not print ln. Print f method. So system dot out dot print f. And we know our system dot out dot print f method takes in a couple of arguments. First is how you want a certain value formatted as a format string. So it goes in double quotations. What format specifies embedded in it. The second argument, we'll come back to the first argument later on, but the second argument is what you want to format. In this case, we want to format the content or the value of life savings. All right, so we want this value formatted as a floating point value. So I'm going to type in the percentage F. F stands for floating point value. All format specifiers start with a percentage sign. Okay, so I'm going to start by formatting this value, okay, to a certain number of decimal places, to let's say two decimal places, I'm going to specify the precision. All right, so in the percentage and the F, in between it, I'm going to specify the precision. I want this number formatted to two decimal places, so I'm going to type in 0.2. If I wanted this number formatted to three decimal places, I'll type in 0.3. Because I want it formatted to two decimal places, I'll type in 0.2. So let's see how it looks so far. I'm going to compile this. Okay, we have a, we have a, okay, over here I'm going to type in system and not uh, system. All right, so I'm going to put an S there, compile it, and let's see how it works so far. Run, and we can see that this value here has been formatted to two decimal places. All right, let's continue. So we're going to introduce something called flags. Okay, now there are several flags, and flags, you know, further, you know, control the look of, you know, your values when you're formatted. One of the flags is the comma, okay? And in your percentage and the F, <coughs> flags are the first thing that come before anything else okay so in your percentage okay in your percentage and the f in between them um, flags come before anything else so a comma is one of the flags and when you place a comma okay before anything else in between your percentage and the f it automatically puts commas where necessary in this value so it looks nice it's readable so when i compile this and i run you can see that it has put commas where necessary right and it's still formatted to two decimal places. So the flag, in this case, comes before, in this case, our, our position. All right, and also you can place a dollar sign, okay, before um, our percentage sign, okay? This is outside of the percentage and then the F, okay? So before our percentage sign, I'm going to place a dollar sign, compile, and then run. And now we formatted this value to two decimal places as a monetary value. Now it looks like real money. Okay, so we'll talk more about this going forward. but. Basically, this is how it works. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.